Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I'm a little bit pale because we're gonna put on some bronzer, blush and highlighter and also try a new eyeshadow palette I bought. Well, it's not like new, new, but it's new for me and I bought this one from Colourpop. This is the 1111 palette from Colourpop and it looks like this. And I want to see, is this the perfect neutral palette? Because I ordered it and thought maybe this could be the perfect neutral palette. Because for me the perfect neutral palette is lighter shades, darker shades, you have cool tones, you have warm tones, you have a silver, you have a gold in the same palette. And I thought this looks like it has everything. But then I got it, I felt like I don't know if there is any silver here. This is more like a white icy and this is not silver. It's more pink. <laughs> but we're gonna see if this is almost perfect when it comes to neutrals because I do love neutrals and I love to have everything in the same palette. So we're gonna try it out, see if it's good quality. So that is what we're gonna do today and if this is the first time here, very welcome to my channel. On my channel you're gonna see makeup content, you're gonna see vlogs in my day-to-day -day life and you're also gonna see fashion related video sometimes because I do love fashion, I love clothes, bags, sometimes I do bag videos like affordable options for designer bags. So yeah, check it out if you like it, subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first of all, let's take a closer look at this beautiful palette 1111 palette. The front is so, so stunning, you guys. I really love how it looks and you don't have a mirror, but you have a very nice selection of colors here because it goes from light to dark in the mattes and you also get some glitter shades here when it comes to the shimmers. You have one that contains a lot of glitter, you have lighter shades, you have warm shades, you have more cool tone shades and I feel like this is absolutely stunning and I'm very curious to see how it's gonna perform because yeah as I said I thought when I saw it on the website it looks very very like a beautiful and perfect neutral palette. So yeah. So we're gonna try it out, but first we're gonna put some bronzer, blush, and highlighter on. So let's start with bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And I thought, why not use a face palette? I love face palettes. And this is one of my oldest face palettes and it still performs really, really good and I love it. This is from Smashbox and this is the Kali Contour palette. And you have a good size mirror here, you have a bronzer, a contour shade, and this is like a lighting powder you can contour with as well. Two highlighters, this one is way too dark for me, but maybe a shimmery bronzer it would be good for, and this is the blush. So let's dip into this one here and start to brush. I love, that's why I love face palettes, because you have everything in one palette, and I know sometimes you can't use like everything in the actual palette because it's maybe too dark for you or it's the wrong shade and you just use some of the shades. Uh, but I still love <laughs> when I can find like a perfect face palette and I feel like this is one of my favorite ones because I think everything works here. I think the highlighter though is too subtle, but now these days I actually love a subtle highlighter. When I bought this I loved, uh, you know, really blinding highlighters, so I thought this one was too, too subtle for me. But now, I don't know, we're gonna see, maybe it's good and I feel like then it's actually the perfect <laughs> face palette. I'm actually gonna use the contour shade as well, just because we have it here now. And contour a little bit here. So, tell me down below, please, do you, do you have the perfect neutral palette? Do you know an eyeshadow palette that is not too big, like not the, you know, the really big sizes palettes from Colourpop. I mean more like, you know, uh, like this size of a palette. Do you know the perfect neutral palette for me? <laughs> a perfect neutral palette, as I said, have to have cool tones and warm tones. It has to have lighter mattes and darker mattes. It has to have 
like a gold and a silver in it and also other neutral shimmers but I feel like I really want a silver and I do want a gold I feel like that is like perfect to have in one in one palette but I don't know do you know in a palette that has everything of that and of course good quality because we do want that as well <laughs> we have a lot of a lot of things we want right okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one now this is the blush this is really really pretty guys it feels like it doesn't look that fun but it's very very pretty and it's very pigmented actually so it's beautiful I really love this something like that okay so let's try the highlighter here yeah as I said I usually don't use this one but now we're gonna see if it gives yeah it actually gives a really nice I don't know if you can see can you see can you see <laughs> actually a lot it actually gives this more subtle kind of glow oh I really really like this I feel like oh my god I actually really love this this is perfect you guys oh my god yeah grab this one if you want a really nice face palette in your collection as I said I have had this as a favorite for so many years but I know I didn't like the highlighter but I I do love it now because I have changed a little bit <laughs> I don't need a super lining highlighter I just need something that is like a beautiful glow on the skin that looks maybe more natural so this is perfect. This is really, really perfect. So let's dig into this beautiful palette. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we can get started. Okay, now we are zoomed in. And as I said with this palette, you have both like cool tones and you have like warm tones here. But I'm going to go with the cool tones. So I'm going to start with this and then I'm going to deepen up with this one. So I, that is what I love with Oh, this has a lot of kick up, so I'm gonna be careful. This is what I'm looking for in a perfect, like, neutral eyeshadow palette that I can go cool tone and I can go warm tone. A lot of neutral palettes, I feel like they go either way, like, they go cool tone, the whole palette, or the whole palette goes warm tone. So I want that like a combination. This is a beautiful shade. It's not super pigmented, I feel like, because I'm digging in there really, like, a lot, but it is beautiful, but it's not as dark as it looks in the pan. Maybe I need another brush as well. So I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. Sometimes that helps to pack a little bit more. No, I feel like this one is not super pigmented. As I said, it's very beautiful. As you can see, it's very, very light. It's a very light color. I'm gonna show you the pan so you can see like this one. So let's dig in, let's dig into this. So it's like a cool tone purple. Let's take this one. I feel like this is gonna be darker, yes. So this is a little bit darker. I'm gonna start here in the outer part. I'm gonna wing it out. Put it here in the crease. Just start here. I'm also using these shades under my eyes. So I took the lighter one like all the way here and I'm taking this a little bit darker shade just here, half of my under eyes. Okay, now it looks like this. It's not super dark. I thought this one was going to be even darker, but I'm gonna take this super dark shade now and this is a sequin this has a lot of like <laughs> yeah uh, a lot of glitter specks in it but you have to tap the brush a little bit and then I can just start to put it here like a liner yeah this is this is a darker for sure I feel like you get a lot of fallout with these kind of shades but try to be careful it's super hard even if you tap your brush okay so now I have all the mattes I want I think anyway maybe I'm gonna take that lighter shade again and just like blend a little bit more it's like so maybe okay I don't know <laughs> I I thought 
like it would be, let's see here, I thought it would be a silver here, but you can see this one here is more pink. I'm gonna take this one and maybe we can have this really lighter shades in the inner, inner part. I'm gonna take this one. Some of them, this one swatched really dry <laughs> and I think this one also swatched a little bit dry if I can remember right, but I don't know. We're gonna see how it performs. I am going to spray my brush when I have the shadow on here. So we have a little moisture here and uh, I'm gonna press it here. Ooh, but this is very beautiful actually. Oh my God. Okay, I, I really like this. Look at this. Okay, this is very sparkly and beautiful. And it doesn't look that pink, I must say. <laughs> I thought it would be looking more, it would be looking more pink. But actually, it has a lot of like, I don't know, silver in it as well, but also pink. So I'm putting it here, just tapping a little bit like this. That is beautiful. I really like this. Okay, let's try this one because this is so icy. This was super smooth when I swatched it. Really, really smooth. Uh, so let's see how this performs here. We're gonna put it in the inner part. Yeah, so this is more white. So if you want it to look a little more icy, I think you can use this one and maybe on top of the pink. That is also very pretty. I do like this. Uh, I am going to take a little more of that first mat we had, maybe just do like this and maybe that dark purple we had as well to start to deepen up a little bit more here. Now we will have the shimmers on and of course that really dark shade. I'm gonna Put a little bit more again, just like a liner here. I don't know if this is going to be like the per it's not the perfect neutral palette for me, I think, but it's it's very close, I would say. I haven't used every shade here, so I need to use the warmer shades as well. But look, this is a cool tone neutral. Uh, look I have so I really love this one. So I want to use this one this Colourpop gel liner in Prance again I had to throw my old one because it was super old. They have reformulated a little bit So I'm gonna put this in my waterline. Okay So that went on smoothly I must say and this is supposed to be waterproof, right? I think it's supposed to be waterproof, but it's beautiful with the blue against this cool tone, I think. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm gonna put some liner and mascara and some lashes and then you're gonna see this look up close. Okay guys, there you have the finished look. I didn't put any lashes on. I just thought, no, I'm not gonna do it today. I didn't feel like it, so. It was just mascara and just a liner, like a black, um, you know, the NYX uh, Epic Ink liner in black. And yeah, let's discuss this uh, palette, guys. So this is a first impression, so I'm gonna do more looks. I'm gonna try it like off camera and I'm also gonna come back to you guys because now I have some new eyeshadow palettes. So I'm maybe I'm gonna rank my latest eyeshadow palettes when I'm used them for a while. So you all know what I think about them, but let's take a look at this beautiful palette. I mean, I do love the color story here and I do love the shades I use today. What I felt like, it was like these two, as I said, when I used it, I feel like I thought they were going to be darker. <laughs> Usually they do that, like if this color looks like this, it gets super dark on the lid, but this one was actually more muted and also this one, I felt like it was not super, super pigmented. It was darker, but 
yeah, but you also have this one that you can deepen up with. And I love this shade. I mean, when I swatched it, it felt a little bit dry. I thought, oh my god, is this going to be foiled? Is this going to be sparkly? But look, it looks so gorgeous. I really, really love it. And I do love this shade as well. Super cool. And I'm so curious to try the other ones here. This one contains a little glitter, so it's going to be more like maybe a festive look, so maybe I can do that. Super stunning. Yeah, I am so excited. I am going to try this and I'm going to do more looks with this. I'm gonna do a warm tone look next time and I hope you are excited. And if you don't own this palette, guys, it you can just take some inspiration from my looks. I mean, this is not like a revolutionary look but maybe it gets you inspired to use your own makeup and use maybe cool tone shades or you know just get inspired to use the makeup we have but tell me down below as I said do you know a perfect like neutral palette uh, for me. <laughs> I would love to hear that. Maybe I have missed something because I'm always looking for that perfect neutral palette, as I said, and yeah, I don't have one, so <laughs> this is the closest one I have right now, and it's beautiful. And the liner, yeah, I cannot say anything bad about it at first application, but I mean, we have to see during the day if it's going to stay in the waterline. I think, as I said, when they reformulate it's waterproof so yeah that's gonna be exciting to see <laughs> if this is gonna be in my waterline the whole day but I hope you have enjoyed this video guys give it a big thumbs up if you have and I see you in my next video <laughs> take care guys bye